Lesson 2.10, Number Patterns, Counting Patterns. Place values will help us identify and extend, that means continue, counting patterns. So it'll help us continue counting patterns. When we compare each place of a number in a pattern, we can see where the digits are changing. This helps us find the counting pattern and then extend it. Here we have a hundred chart and we can see that we start at one and it goes to 100 and each row counts by ones. One, two, three, four, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's counting by ones in the rows going across and each column coming down counts by tens. We go from seven to 17 to 27. It's 10 more coming down. Look, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Those are 10 more than the number above it. This number chart starts with 301 and ends with 400. And the rows that go across are still counting by ones. 301, 302, 303, they're going up by one. And the columns that go down are counting by tens, 307, 317, 327, it's 10 more going down, 310, 320, 330. So each column has the numbers moving by 10 more and the rows going across have them going up by one more. We can use a chart to find a counting pattern for tens. To find five tens more than 334, we find 334 on the chart, then go down five times. One, two, three, four, five. We go from 334 to 344, 354, do you see what's happening with the tens place? It's going three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at the tens place. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The tens place goes up by one as we count one more ten. Counting on by tens, the hundreds digit and the ones digit stay the same. Only the tens digit will change. We can see the hundreds digit is staying as a three, the ones digit is staying as a four, but the tens digit is going up by one for each number that we come down. When we count on by hundreds, only the hundreds digit will change. The tens and ones will stay the same. We have 135, that's 100 three tens, five ones. 235 is two hundreds, three tens, five ones. The tens and ones are staying the same. We're adding one more hundred. We add one more hundred for each next number when we count on by hundreds. Here we need to look at the digits to find the next two numbers in the pattern. We look for which digit is changing. We have 128, 138, 148, 158. We can see the hundreds and ones are staying the same and the tens are going up by one. Do you know what the next number would be? The hundreds and the ones are going to stay the same. Our tens are going two, three, four, five. That must be a six. Do you know what the next number in the pattern would be? We know the hundreds and the ones are going to stay the same and the tens are going to go up by one. It must be 178. In this number pattern, we have 503, 513, 523, 533. Do you know what the next two numbers in the pattern would be? The hundreds and the ones are going to stay the same and there's going to be a four in the tens place. And the next number 
we'll also have a five in the hundreds place, a three in the ones place, and the tens place will go up to five, 553. So the next two numbers in this pattern are 543, 553. Now look at this number pattern. Do you know what the next two numbers in the number patterns would be? We have 276, 376, 476, 576. The tens and ones are staying the same and the hundreds are changing. It's going up by 100 each time. Do you know what the next two numbers in the pattern are? If you said 676, 776, you're right. When a place value digit is nine, counting on one more changes the next greater place value by one more. We have 16, we have six ones and a 10. We have 17, now the ones are a seven. 18, now the ones are an eight. 19, now the ones are a nine. And look, the next number is 20. We now have a zero in the ones place and the tens place is one more. We had one 10, now we have two tens. That nine becomes a zero for the next number. 160, 170, 180, 190. We now have a nine in the tens place. Now we're gonna have a zero and we're gonna have one more hundred. We can group the place values together and look at this as 16 tens, 17 tens, 18 tens, 19 tens, 20 tens. Here we're counting on by hundreds, 700, 800, 900. The next n number, 100 more, would be 1,000. And the next number, 100 more than that, would be 1,100. Here we have 723. 100 more would be 823. Then 923. Now, to go 100 more, we're going to have a zero in the hundreds place, and we're going to have a one in the thousands place. If we go 100 more than that, we're going to have a one in the hundreds place and a one in the thousands place. We'll have 1,123. 100 more than 900 is 1,000. We have a zero in the hundreds place and a one in the thousands place. And we can group the place values together to see what's happening. We have 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100. Do you see that? Let's try some higher order thinking skills. There were 112 cookies in a box. After Mrs. Kim put more cookies in the box, there were 142 cookies in the box. How many groups of 10 cookies did she put in the box? So we think the box already had 112 cookies. She put in some to make it 142. And we can write a number pattern of 10 more because it's asking how many groups of 10 cookies did she put in the box to make it 142? And we know the hundreds and ones place will stay the same. We're going to count on by tens, starting with 112. There is a one in the tens place. If we give it another 10, there's going to be a two in the tens place. We know the next number in the pattern is going to have a one in the hundreds place and a two in the ones place. And the tens place will be one more than two. It will be three. The next number is going to have a one in the hundreds place and a two in the ones place. And it'll have a four in the tens place. There were 112 cookies. She added 10. Now there were 122. She added another 10. Now there were 132. She added another 10. 
Now there were 142 cookies. So how many groups of 10 cookies did she put in the box? We can count them. One, two, three. She put in three groups of 10. Here we have a chart that starts at 401 and goes to 500. This one goes from 501 to 600. Three tens more than 472 is one, two, three tens. It's 502. 472 is four hundreds, seven tens, two ones. If we combine the hundreds and tens, we can see what's happening. We have 472, that's 47 tens and two ones. 482 is 48 tens and two ones. 492 is 49 tens and two ones. And 502 is 50 tens, two ones. Do you see what's happening when we combine the hundreds and tens? 47, 48, 49, 50. And if we look at the next number, it's 51 tens, 52 tens, 53 tens, 54 tens. See what's happening? It's one more 10. So remember when doing number patterns or counting patterns, to compare each place of a number to see where the digits are changing, and that will tell you how to continue the pattern, how to extend the counting pattern. Our next lesson, 2.11, we're going to do some word problems. We're going to solve them, and we're going to compare numbers. I hope I'll see you there. Have a wonderful day. Bye.